Hi, and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to look at Substack in particular and compare it to Medium. I am going to start by admitting I was completely wrong about Substack. Uh, I thought Substack was just a newsletter program, and it's not. It is actually so much more than that. And in fact, you know, it's sort of the perfect app for writers, but how does it compare to Medium? So I've been on Medium for eight months and I've been on Substack for about a week. So I'm going to show you uh, what I've done in a week and what I'm going to do and why I think actually, actually both of them are a good way forward for content writers. Right, let's go and have a look. This is my simple homepage. And this is really what I thought Substack was. OK, so we have a header. We have details of the newsletter and then a box to subscribe. And then yesterday I saw this person who had more stuff at the bottom there, test, little testimonials, uh, option to check it out, uh, sort of better description. I thought, oh, OK, so there's stuff that I'm missing out on. Um, this is my main page. Now you will see I've I've managed to already add a link to uh, my inner circle, which is my community. You see community there, and this is the first post that I did. Now I thought, okay, that, that doesn't look too bad. Um, it puts your content out there, but once again, I saw the video, uh, video. I saw the page that that same person had did, and this is one of her pages. I mean, look at that. That's superb. OK, so everything's there under different uh, categories. Uh, posts are there, lessons are there. Uh, she's got an advert for coaching. So, so she's turned Substack into a website, which really gets me thinking. There's way more to Substack than I realised. If we look at Medium, this is my Medium homepage. Um, you can see here I've featured my book and I have a link to a website in my profile and then just my articles are there as I posted them plus a couple that I've pinned at the top. And that's really it with Medium. OK, uh, I've got books, I can create lists, etc. But this is what you get. So compared to what you can do with Substack, to Medium, I think Substack has the potential there to be a really good shop window for your products. So what we got next? OK, so I published um, just a page there for my posts. And you notice they call the newsletters posts. So you create a post and then as far as you're concerned, you've just done a post. Substack then does all the newsletter magic, emails it out, make sure it gets delivered. So you're pretty much hands off. You just write. Your job is to write. Substack handles everything uh, in the background, which I actually really like. So you can see there, content, content everywhere, which is the first one I did. 50% open rate, 42 views. I did this three days ago. I had zero audience here and I've picked up five new, five new subs. So that's pretty good. That's out of date now because I'm at now up to 14. Um, so that's grown over night um have an opportunity to turn my content into podcasts or turn my podcast into content we have list of subscribers we have stats recommendations and settings so everything is there where we want it plus option to get support i really like that this is how it looks okay so i thought that, that looks quite good i've done quite well with that um and then i saw this someone else did We've got emojis in it. Um, we've got content posted into it, Im images in there, opt-in box, which I've actually got myself. Um, tweets or um, notes, possibly. Um, yeah, and it looks much more friendly and usable. So I quite like where we can go with this. Plus, you notice up there, upgrade to paid. So people can pay to receive bonus content, etc. So my thought here is, well, I can do video bonuses 
uh, bonus content plus videos to explain as explainers, but also possibly add in my community. So people can opt into my community via my newsletter, get the newsletter and the community. So well, I'll have to look at that. Um, what we got here, right, this was really surprising. When I published that first post, this arrived and I wasn't expecting it. These are assets for social media. So this is Instagram stories and TikTok. So I can post that. Here's for uh, Twitter. I can post that on Twitter, threads, etc. It links to the newsletter and it is content there. So that's really a nice little bonus that they actually help you promote your content. So I like that. What have we got here? Yeah. So turn on paid. I need to connect my Stripe account and then I can have a paid program. I haven't done that yet. So I'm not interested in doing that maybe for a while, but the option is there. And then you get stats, etc. So I've got 17 subscribers now, so it's gone up again. So remember that's a three day old post. Um, and what we've got there, content there, um, edit your about page. Okay, so that's the next thing I have to do. And then various resources that I can read there. Okay, so I am, so when we've got a draft, it appears there. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm actually quite impressed with that. Now let's talk about monetization. So I've been on Medium since October last year, and you can see there, you know, top months was $275. That's just from the content that I publish. So each day, uh, the content I publish earns some money. Um, the trouble with this is it's quite limited. It's all because it's all depends on the, how many members are there and how many read your your articles and how long they spend on your articles. You're going to earn money, which is great, and it will. No. I would say the limit is going to be about a thousand dollars a month. Okay, which isn't bad for publishing content, but you can also put links inside your content and link out to your offers and your products. So anyway, affiliate links, etc. So you can do it that way and you can open it up, uh, not bother being part of the, the program and have it open to the public. And these articles do get indexed very well. I have several that are ranking number one on Google for various search terms. So the possibility is there to get traffic, but as the partner program is limited, you know, there is a finite budget for what you can earn from the partner program. Um, think of it as coffee money. Okay, it's a little, little bonus that you get for writing content and people reading your content. On the other hand, Substack, your earnings there are unlimited. You simply pay Substack, I think it's 10% of whatever you earn, uh, so if you never turn on paid, you never pay them. But if you do turn on paid, then you're going to pay them 10%. Now, I can link out to, as I said, I've got products I can link out to. Um, I can link out to my community. So that is a big upside with Substack. Um, I've got all these pages ready, and I don't know what they are. Um, right, so here we go. This is the notes feature, and I do wish Medium would do something like this. This is similar to Twitter, but not as toxic. And up top, you can see content that you might, might like that you can subscribe to. Okay, that's actually my article there. Um, and everybody who comes in here will see content related to what they like, okay? And for people that they follow. So this is really, really useful. And we have posts there. So you can come in here, make daily posts. Uh, you can engage with people, you can follow people, they can follow you. And if you're not, you see Tim Denning there, I'm not subscribed to his post or his uh, newsletter. I have just subscribed to it with one click. Okay, and it appears, uh, up, it appeared up there as unsubscribed or subscribed. So you can you can see, I like to see them as well. He writes good stuff. So you can find people that you like now, you will see their content whenever they publish it. So that's really useful. It's got its own built-in social network. Now, this is all stuff that I was 
was aware of the social network side of things. I wasn't aware of most of the other stuff. I thought, yeah, just a newsletter program. No, it's not. So here is the branding part of, oh, sorry, this is my site. So here I can set up how much I want to charge for my newsletter or whatever I do. Here is the website part of it. So you can see we can add different pages here and add those pages to the navigation bar. You can use this to build your own website. And you can see here, I've got different tags here and I've added my inner circle link here. What we've got here, reach. So as you saw, I had 50 opens. These are the reads currently from uh, Medium, you know, 122 views, sorry, 122 views, 146 views, 86 reads, 67 reads. Um, Substack isn't up to this level yet, but we're only there three days and we've, we are getting views and already. So the potential there is quite high, I suspect. And what else we got here? Basically just, uh, this is your stories page. It's all listed out there. Um, so that is it. Now, what I would suggest is and this is what I'm going to try. I'm going to write daily content on Medium. I'm then once or twice a week, I'm going to take the content that's had the most numbers of reactions and I'm going to repurpose it and rewrite it and add more graphics and maybe a video, etc., for Substack. And then in three or four months time, I'll report back and we'll see which is doing better. I suspect that Substack will start out earning medium um, simply because there's so much more there. It's like the perfect app for writers. You write posts there, they turn it into newsletter for you. You pick up subscribers through all the different functions that it has built in. You can link out to your products and you link out to your pages. Um, yeah. So medium and Substack is the plan for the future. Any questions, please ask below. Thanks a lot. Bye.